This morning we will start with a, the SEI annual meeting, a brief message from AISC, and hear a provocative challenge from our keynote speaker, Ashraf. SEI is a dynamic community, one of the nine specialty institutes of ASCE involving building, bridge, non-building structures, practicing engineers, students, research scientists, academics, technologists, material suppliers, contractors, and owners. We cover a lot of groups. SEI drives the practical application of cutting edge research by improving coordination between academia and practicing engineers. SEI advances our members' careers, stimulates technology, technological advancement, and improves professional practice. More than 34,000 members in more than 100 countries, 30% of our membership are students, 16% are younger members, 22% live outside the United States, 14% are women, and 4% serve on committee efforts. Nearly all our SEI members are also ASCE members, receiving the benefits of SEI and ASCE together. About 20% of all ASCE members belong to the SEI Institute. SEI advances and serves the profession through the activities of our five divisions, more than 100 committees, and 50 chapters that produce programs, publications, conferences, and continuing education. Thank you again to all the many volunteers for all your efforts. Please stand up if you're on any one of uh, activities in our committees, task force, or no one's standing up. Okay, all of you better belong, join a committee today. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Go to the SCI booth uh, during the network, then you can join and talk to all of the division uh, committee uh, execcom. More than 50 SEI chapters of ASE branches and sections serve SEI members locally. This includes the SEI graduate student chapters and growing SEI sponsors, one rep from each local chapter to participate in the annual SEI Local Leaders Conference. This provides opportunities to share best practices, learn about a new initiatives, and, which includes training, training and uh, um, other opportunities for the chapters. The SEI graduate student chapters encourages graduate students to establish local SEI graduate chapters called GSCs to enhance the education of students preparing to become structural engineers and engage student members in SEI in a successful trans transition from college to career. GSCs organize and manage visiting speakers, prospective student events, field trips, and they that participate in SEI and perform other outreach activities in the community. Participating in GSE can help members broaden their view of what it means to be a structural engineer. SEI publications include conference proceedings, books, journals, and standards. Here's some of the new ones that were published in 2018. One of another conference that we have every three years is the Electric Transmission and Substation Structures Congress called the ETS. As I said, it was, occurs every three years. It's dedicated to strengthening our critical infrastructure. Last fall, we had over 1,400 people attend our expert program in our sold out exhibit hall in Atlanta. ETS committees produce publications and conferences for this important constituent group of SEI ASC. We have only a few of those that come to our Congress when we welcome them this year. Revenue from membership, publication, conferences, continuing education supports SEI efforts. Thank you to the committees and volunteers that develop these projects. All of this information I've just given to you is in the 2018 SEI annual report that is available for you in your conference material package that received and is also on our website. To continue with the SEI annual meeting, I would like to welcome President David Koch, who will be talking about the SEI vision. Good morning. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is our vision. 
In uh, 2008, SEI put out a vision statement, and that in part reads, in 2033, the structural engineering profession will be a unique, fully engaged profession with a strong identity, will be recognized for the contribution the profession makes to public safety and risk management in economic and sustainable use of resources, the use of innovative technologies, and the creation of inspiring structures. We will be stewards of the built environment and attract, attract the best and the brightest to our profession. In 2013, the Board of Governors asked a task committee to follow up, and they produced a vision for the future of structural engineers, a case for change. The Case for Change document outlines several recommendations for actions needed to meet the vision in the 25-year time period. The SEI vision for the future is our strategy to ensure a vibrant and dynamic future for our structural engineering. We envision a bright future where we as structural engineers play a critical role as leaders and innovators to improve the safety and well-being of the global population. SEI is leading and investing in several initiatives to do this, including promote structural engineers as leaders and innovators, advocate for structural engineering licensure, improve mentoring and continuing education, position members as global leaders, promote performance-based codes and standards, lead technology summits, and reform structural engineering education. SEI committees are working on these efforts now, and a board-level task committee is reviewing and updating the vision initiatives, which we'll present to the Board of Governors at our meeting tomorrow. Currently, SEI is working with the leadership of NCSEA and CASE to write a joint vision that all three organizations will soon endorse. In fact, NCSEA just endorsed it on Tuesday, their board. We want to make sure that we're all heading in the same direction for our profession and not duplicating efforts or even worse, working in conflict with one another. So this is a big step forward. Some current initiatives that are underway include SEI is advocating for and developing performance-based standards. We're currently developing a pre-standard for performance-based wind design and a guideline for performance-based structural fire engineering funded by the Charles Pankow Foundation. Thank you very much. Our new SEI Global Activities Division, remember I said be global leaders. We created a new activities division and they're busy. They produced the Global Practice Guide which is now available as of Tuesday, as of yesterday. Uh, we are participated in the Reunion del Concreto in Colombia, and we are planning our first joint conference with iStruct E in Dubai in September called Iconic Global Structures. Current efforts to advocate for SE licensure are coordinated through our participation in the SE licensure coalition for a united voice to promote SE licensure and it includes collaboration with NCEES and NSPE. Our Futures Fund, near and dear to my heart. The Futures Fund, in collaboration with the ASCE Foundation, leverages contributions to invest in our vision for the future. It funds strategic initiatives outside of the SE, SEI annual operating budget. 100% of the donations go to the Futures Fund to support strategic initiatives. If you write a check, 100% goes into the SEI Futures Fund. SEI board has been asking our leaders, and we ask our members to give annually, and it doesn't matter what the amount is. Any little bit will help. In addition to that, tonight's party, Celebration of the Future of SE, which is sponsored by CSI, all of the ticket proceeds go to the Futures Fund. All of it, not minus the cost, not the net proceeds. All of the ticket funds go to the Futures Fund. Just this year, more than $100,000 has been committed from the Futures Fund for 2019 strategic initiatives, including increased scholarships for 45 students, young professionals, and young professional teaching faculty 
to participate at Structures Congress and get involved in SEI. It provides funding for young professionals on standards committees, for leadership and facilitation training for local leaders, for SEI standards lectures at local chapters, for a sustainability workshop, which is going to be held this summer, and for SE licensure research. We need data to support our case for SE licensure, and it is funding that. I'd like to ask all of our Futures Fund donors to stand up right now and be recognized. If you've given in the last year or so, please stand up. I'd like to also point out that of all these people in the room, that was a pretty small group. And just think what we could accomplish. If we accomplished all that with that small a group, think what we could accomplish if everybody in this room stood up. And in addition to that, I'm very happy and excited to announce that CSI has uh, promised a two-for-one match for anybody that donates going forward. So please, if you're at all interested in the future of structural engineering, why wouldn't we be? Please consider a donation to the Futures Fund. Stop by the booth today and get some more details about that, even if you can give $50. It doesn't matter. If we can get everybody in the room to stand up, we can make a huge difference. You can tell it was kind of near and dear to my heart, right? <clears throat> okay, allied organizations. I'd like to recognize and thank all of our allied organizations. These alliances include MOUs for continuous collaboration, agreements for joint efforts and events, and other activities. So thank you. I'd also like to give a big thank you to the SEI sustaining organization members for going above and beyond to support SEI to advance and serve our profession on an ongoing basis. That's very important with that ongoing sponsorship. <clears throat> Another big thank you to our 2019 Structures Congress sponsors. They are a tremendous help. Uh, we've already talked about CSI, but the other, other uh, sponsors on the screen there provide uh, wonderful funding that helps us to do what we need to do. So you're all here, so you're already participating with SEI at the Structures Congress. I invite you to get more involved if you're not already involved. I invite you to visit the SEI Central Booth in, ex in the exhibit hall at a break today to connect with our leaders and learn how you can get involved to support SEI efforts to advance your career and your profession. As I think about my own career path as a structural engineer and the impact that I received from my mentors, the impact they made on my career, I want to challenge my peers out there to reach out to a student and a young professional and share your journey with them and invite them to participate in SEI because it can truly make a, a a difference in your career and in their career. The future, future, I'm sorry, the vision of the future of structural engineering is in their hands. So they need your help and you young professionals out there, we're talking about your career, your profession. So we need you to pay attention right now. So thank you to our sponsors, our ASCE, SEI leadership and staff, and especially our members out there for your support and collaboration to advance and serve structural engineering. This concludes our annual meeting and enjoy the rest of the conference.